Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use liquid propane just like liquid nitrogen. Backyard scientist here. Today I've got a pretty cool experiment for you using liquid propane as an analog to liquid nitrogen. And in this video I'm going to be showing you smashing mushrooms, flowers, and other stuff I found in my yard. Now, propane is normally a gas and it boils at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And it sets extremely cold if you guys aren't aware. I mean, you stick your finger in this and it's going to get frostbitten. Let's start off with some, freezing some mushrooms. Now, you know mushrooms are normally soft, squishy, you can step on them, but once you freeze them, they're as hard as a rock. I can't even break it by hitting it on the ground. So, I decided to break out the hammer. And shattering this mushroom is like shattering glass. It's just so easy. And it shatters. It's like you never expect a mushroom to do something like that, but there you go. This stuff is just so cool. All right, now I'm going to smash up some flowers. And while I'm doing this, in the background, I'm going to tell you kind of how I did this. Um, I started off with a modified propane valve. This is just like your normal propane torch valve, except I drilled it out so it's very thick. And if you invert the bottle, a heavy stream of propane comes out. Now, if you're going to do this, it's necessary to freeze the propane in the freezer for an hour to get the propane cooler temperature so it doesn't instantly boil away once it hits the atmosphere. Also, it's important to get a turvis tumbler or another sort of insulated double-walled container to prevent this propane from boiling away. Also, this is an extreme fire hazard and you do not want to do this anywhere indoors or in an enclosed space. Be very careful of doing this. Like the bottle says, it contains enough fuel to cause a very serious fire. In this next bit, I'm going to show you how much fire and how long a fire burns with only two ounces of liquid propane. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.